For the sake of love I've been trying to reveal it What I've been so afraid of Your coldness makes my heart go weak So numb that I can barely speak This pain keeps water in the sea If I weren't so desperate to be free, I'd keep my distance, babe Because Mac and Kendall have said to one another, honey, I love you so much, we probably got to get the uh, government involved. <laughs> Seriously though, everybody, thank you guys all so much for joining us today. Mac and Kendall have asked that this be quite a fun ceremony, so we're going to have a good time. The next few minutes, we're going to go through this, get this hitching done, and then we're going to get out of here, get the drinks flowing, and get this party started. So if that works for everybody, let's kick this thing off. Mackenzie and Kendall. Your marriage will take more than love. It'll take trust, dedication, and faith. These qualities are not a destination, but a journey. Marriage is a balancing act between two personalities and a blending of two qualities which diminishes neither, but enhances both. The couple have asked me to read a quote. Love is an adventure and a conquest. It survives and develops like the universe itself, only by perpetual discovery. The only right love is that between couples whose passion leads them both through the other to a higher possession of their being. Put your faith in the spirit which dwells between the two of you. You have each offered yourself to each other as a boundless field of understanding, enrichment, and of mutually increased sensibility. You will meet above all by entering into and constantly sharing into one another's lives, thoughts, affections and dreams there alone as you know in spirit which is arrived through flesh you will find no disappointments nor limits there alone the skies are ever open for your love there alone lies the great road ahead Mac do you take Kendall to be your lawfully married wife to share the rest of your life with will you love them laugh with them comfort them honor and defend them and be true to them above everything else for the rest of your life? I do. Kendall, do you take Mac to be your lawfully married husband to share the rest of your life with? Will you love them, laugh with them, comfort them, honor and defend them, and be true to them above everything else for the rest of your life? I do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Mackenzie and Kendall, if you're willing to accept the commitments and responsibilities that I have described, Continue to join your hands and promise your loves and lives to one, one another. Kendall, I believe you would like to read yours first. Remember in high school when we said we'd get married at 30 if we were still single? Yep. Well, here we are at 27. Yep. I can't believe you're finally out of the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> it took me 10 years to realize that you were right. We were meant to be together. You are the most caring, warm-hearted, unselfish individual that I have ever known. Your love and trust makes me a better person every day. As we begin this next chapter, I promise to be your biggest supporter, your best friend, and your partner. I promise to stand with you through the bad times and the good. I promise to communicate openly and fearlessly and to be patient with you and to give you all the back scratches. Yeah, okay. Nice. <laughs> Let's build a home of laughter, love, and support. Let's create a warm and welcoming space for good times and bad. Let us make a home for each other. I love you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> this is way more intense than a homecoming and prom. I even had to ask her parents first. Today I promise to be your uh, forever best friend, your navigator, your sidekick, and most importantly, your husband. Life is full of adventures and I want to promise you that I will forever be by your side and to always be there for you. Your love gives me hope, your smile gives me joy, you make me a better man, 
and I am so lucky to call you my wife. Kendall, with this ring, I promise you, you'll never have to face the world alone. Mac, I'm gonna have you go first. Okay. Mac, place your ring on Kendall's finger and repeat after me. I'm giving you this ring as a promise. I'm giving you this ring as a promise. To always love, cherish, honor, and comfort you. To always love, honor, cherish, and comfort you. I promise to love you and keep my heart open for you. I love to always keep my heart open for you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. Kendall, place your ring on Max's finger and repeat after me. I'm giving you this ring as a promise. I'm giving you this ring as a promise. To always love, cherish, honor, and comfort you. To always love, cherish, honor, and comfort you. I promise to love you and keep my heart open for you. I promise to love and keep my heart open for you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. So the legend of the hook bracelet originates in the Caribbean, and it's an old fisherman's tale. The legend claims they were worn originally by the wives of fishermen for luck and love to bring their husbands safely home from sea. The horseshoe design is worn in many different ways to signify your heart. If the hook is facing your heart, it means you've caught your love. If you're fishing for love, wear the hook open outwards. The hook is worn around the world and unites those who wear it. Mac and Kendall, these bracelets symbolize your unity and love for one another. You both caught love, now you can wear these bracelets as a symbol of your everlasting marriage. Mackenzie and Kendall, at this time I ask you each to clasp it onto the wrist that you would like to wear it on and make sure that you have the hook facing your heart. And with the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Mac, you may kiss your bride. For the first time ever, My Mr. and Mrs. Mackenzie and Kendall Harris. Stop.